Welcome to the third video of our Contextual Curiosity series, which is brought by me, Amelia Kirk, Global Head of Growth at CTAG. We wanted to create a series of short, snappy videos on a range of topics related to contextual advertising, which is currently having a resurgence within the world of digital. The topic I'm going to be discussing in this video is how to develop a contextual advertising strategy. In order to develop a contextual advertising strategy, the following steps need to be taken. Firstly, the goal of the campaign and the target audiences or targeting parameters need to be defined. It is essential for the, any advertiser to be clear in the campaign objectives and understand exactly what contextual targeting is so that this can be included as part of their campaign plan. Secondly, it's important to understand the inventory capabilities of the contextual provider. This is important as once the contextual provider has been selected, they will need to start overlaying the specific contextual segments that will allow the brand to reach either their target audience or the specific targeting parameters. This can be, for example, the use of IOB categories or the creation and application of custom segments. Really being able to identify the inventory capabilities of your chosen provider is important as you will need to overlay brand suitability, brand safety, a negative keyword list or blacklisting as part of your campaign. Therefore, understanding scale standards is crucial. And what's important here is that brands should aim to target as many positive and relevant segments as possible and then refine this as part of the campaign strategy. Thirdly, employ a range of contextual targeting strategies. This is important as contextual targeting is personal. You are targeting the online consumer at the moment of time of reading a piece of content. Therefore, it's important to test and learn and understand what contextual targeting strategies and segments are actually delivering KPIs and business outcomes. By setting up multiple strategies, you'll be able to be more flexible in your optimization and truly understand what contexts and segments are genuinely working hard for your brand. Fourth, don't forget about your creative. We all know the importance of creative in attracting and driving an immediate connection with our consumers. Never forget the importance of creative, whether this is employing a video strategy or creating engaging features within the format to drive deeper engagement. But on top of this, ensure that your contextual targeting strategy is aligned perfectly with the creative in order to act as the cohesive bridge between your creative and the editorial environment in which it sits. Last but not least, listen to the data. As I mentioned earlier, it's important to use different contextual and custom segments to understand what is working for your campaign's objectives. But also, there are factors that you should be aware of when incorporating a contextual strategy. So for example, sentiment. What is the content of the page suitable for your brand? If it's negative, you should be blocking this immediately. Secondly, content listening. So using providers that can supply data on what else is there. So for example, what trends may be occurring at the moment in time which you can be capitalizing on or which you may not have considered. Or what other content is being read or is continuously appearing alongside your immediate segments which may be worth using to extend your campaign reach. Ultimately, it's important to listen to the data and also use data providers who can provide you with unique insights and tools which will help support you in delivering an effective contextual strategy. I hope you found this quick video interesting. In our next video, I'll be speaking about what the future holds for contextual advertising. As always, please click on the link below to learn more.